Hey guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss an example on sectar. So here the given example is to find area of sectar when the angle made is equal to 270 degrees and the radius is equal to 21 meters. Here area of sector is given by the formula x degrees divided by 360 degrees into pi r square. So by substituting both the values in the formula we get 270 divided by 360 degrees into the value of pi that is 22 by 7 into r square that is 21 into 21. So now let us simplify this. So here 93 times is 270 and 94 times is 360 and then again 7 1 time is 7 and 7 3 times is 21 and here 2 2 times is 4 and 2 11 times is 22 so here we get the terms in the numerator as 3 into 11 into 3 into 21 divided by the denominator 2 and by multiplying all the terms in the numerator, we get the product as 2079 divided by 2. And now by dividing both the terms, we get the result over here as 1039.5 square meters as the area of sector. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example. And here the given example is find area and perimeter of sector when radius is equal to 14 centimeters and theta which is nothing but the angle made by the arc is equal to 72 degrees. So here we already know that perimeter of a sector is given by the formula L plus 2R where L is the length of the arc. So first let us find the value of L. And here we already know that length of an arc is given by the formula x degrees divided by 360 degrees into 2 pi r. So here by substituting the given values of x and r in the formula we get 72 divided by 360 into 2 into the value of pi that is 22 by 7 into the value of r that is 14 here. And now let us simplify this. So here by multiplying all the terms in the numerator we get the product over here as 44,352 divided by the denominator 360 into 7 which is 2520 and by dividing we get the result over here as 17.6 centimeters as the length of arc. And now let us find the area of sector. So, area of sector is given by the formula LR by 2 or else x degrees divided by 360 degrees into pi r square. And here in this case let us use the formula LR by 2 as we know the value of L. So by substituting both the values of L and R we get 17.6 into 14 divided by 2. And by multiplying the terms in the numerator we get the product over here as 246.4 divided by 2. And now let us simplify this. So here 2 1 time is 2 and 2 123.2 times is 246.4. So hence we get the result over here as 123.2 square centimeters as the area of sector. And now let us find the perimeter when length of arc is equal to 17.6 centimeters and radius is equal to 14 centimeters. So perimeter of a sector is given by the formula L plus 2R and now by substituting the values in the formula we get 17.6 plus 2 times of radius that is 14 here. So that implies we get here 17.6 plus 2 times of 14 that is 28 here. So here by adding we get the result as 45.6 centimeters as the perimeter. So at last we can conclude this by saying perimeter of a sector is given by the formula L plus 2R and length of arc is given by the formula x degrees divided by 360 degrees 
into 2 pi r and whereas area of sector is given by the formula x degrees divided by 360 degrees into pi r square or else lr by 2. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.